Welcome to my shed. Welcome to part two of the servo controlled robot arm build. Um, this is where we got to last time um, and we're carrying straight on. Okay, so according to the picture, as far as we can see, one of these fits on, if I can line the right screws up, fits on something like that. We get another servo. This servo fits on there. Don't really know. I'll have to see where the holes align. Then another one of these C brackets is an arm here. So I think we know how that bit goes, but how does this servo bracket attach? How do I align those two holes? What holes do they align with on the uh, on this bracket? And they don't appear to align with any of them. So let me have a uh, think. Okay, after a bit of mucking about, it would appear that the pictures indicate that this fits in something like that, but that means all of these have to go through this as well. And I don't know if these screws, like I said, probably need to take this all apart again. So. Any bite there? Okay. Are these any longer? Oh god. Any longer than those? They don't look like it. Let's try this one. So one of them went in. Okay, let's just try these and see what happens. Nothing. This thread's not long enough to go through both of those aluminium parts and bite into the servo horn. I think we managed to get maybe a tiny bit of thread on that one in. Um, I don't really know how to solve that. I suppose I could use these screws, but I'm worried I need those for the rest of the construction. Um, how do you solve this? Is that the right place to, that to go though? I don't even know that. More pictures! Right. Let's have another go. Let's take this one off. So, somehow, are these all the same? Let's check, because that would be a bit of a disaster. They do certainly look the same, so there's no difference in those. Are these all the same? Um, yes, unless by coincidence I've used the one that is actually different for that one. Um, and I still cannot see those two holes matching up with any of these holes and according to the picture 
this front edge aligns with that front edge or possibly that one I think it's this way around and the only way really to do that would be to connect this through to the servo horn so despite my better judgment I'm going to use the bigger screws to try and do that Well, that second one was a bit of a tough call, but they obviously good big enough. That's on there. There's a bit of a lip here. Maybe that's just... Oh, there's a little bit of movement in there. Maybe they're not tight enough. Okay. So that is the servo holder. Now, we've got this arm that fits over here. Now I'm trying to keep it all centred up so this servo is going to go in this way and the arm is going to go like that. So I've got another bearing to go in this end. Servo horn blah 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 on that one. I don't. I can use the smaller screws on that one because I don't think anything attaches to it. Now I've only used two of the long ones because I'm really worried that I'm going to need the long ones in order to actually build the rest of this so that's a little concerning but I don't think that's a problem I mean I only used two back here perhaps I should have used four but I don't think that's a problem either the bolts aren't going to break anything so let's put the bearing and the other piece in and the um, server on So, I'm going to put a bearing into this one. Um, I don't suppose it really matters which way around this bearing goes. Um, as long as it actually fits. There we go. One of these long. Right, so, how much movement do I need on this? I need this one. Interesting. Maybe I've got that servo the wrong way around. I'm going to check the pictures again. Because I think that needs that servo needs to be that way around. To give me that much extra reef. Pictures please! Got that the wrong way around. Okay, so servo goes on here. How much, where is the centre of the movement? I've got 180 degrees. So let's say that's one and that's two. So the centre is going to be about there. That's where we want the centre. Is that right? That's down, that's full range of motion there. Full range is going to be that. So let's line it up on the board, why not? Uh, let's see. Line it with one of those lines. Like uh, that. Full range is going to be about 180. And 90 is going to be about there. So when we put the servo on. I need the horn, I need the horn to align with that, a bit like that. Okay, so let's screw that in. Okay, so let's put this together. I need a bolt for this, 
Put some here, that'll do. Let's screw. That looks almost aligned. Um, we'll, um, we've got some adjustment in the code anyway, so we don't have to get it spot on. That's there, that goes in there, and that locks on there. So, bolt the servo in first. Now I know there might be some purists among you who say, oh, we shouldn't hold a nut with a pair of pliers, but the only other part, the only other spanner I've got is this thing, and it'll never get into there, and it's a bit loose anyway. So these are fairly lightweight, they're not going to round off the nut. We should be fine. So we've now got the second servo in, and I'm going to use the smaller screws to put this on. This servo is should be centred up. So there we have that one's on there, bearing in the back, servos, horn screwed on there. The next bit, this bit goes on here, gives us a bit of an arm. And but before I do that, I just want to make sure what goes on the end here so we don't have any surprises. So what goes on here is another C-shape piece that goes into there. We then have another servo, hmm, something hmm, a bit like that. So I'm debating whether to build this bit and then bolt it together because it's a bit tricky to get everything correct. But then that's how do I know which way the servo needs to go? I'm going to bolt this bit to that bit first. Bolted on, and and let's check. That's one stop, and that's the other one. And we chop the cable in half. Okay, so that's that survey there looks pretty good. I don't like running them without any power. It's I don't I don't know if it does any harm, but it might. So I'd rather not um, if it can be helped. So the dead position centre for this was there, that centre, centre, centre. So this servo, so this servo needs to go on ooh, um, ooh, like 
that. Got that surfed up, centered up there. And once that's on there, this T-shaped bracket goes on there. So actually you need to put the T-breaker on, not the T-bracket, it's an L-bracket. It's an L-shape. I need to put the L-bracket on first, then everything in place. So let's do that, slide that out. This needs to go on here. Right, so that's on there. Now, if I put this servo in, something's got to go on there, and I really don't know what. So, again, looking back at the pictures. Thank you for watching part two of the servo powered robot arm. Part three should be out soon. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.